Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Alrighty, today I want to talk about PSA. Is PSA losing credibility? That's my question for you guys. So PSA announced in March that they will no longer be taking orders unless if it's for the very expensive 300 day, I mean $300 order, Super Express. If you're processing orders like that, they're going to return it within probably 10 days. You know, you send it out, they get it, they're done with it, you should probably get it 10 to 14 days. And the thing is, they did say that we're going to start to open back up in the following months ahead. So July 1st was one of the dates talked about. Now, they said they're going to open, but not many details have come out. Okay, maybe tomorrow we may see some more details. But at the end of the day, what is their true backlog? And I tried to do some digging. I couldn't find it anywhere. Darren Rovell, assuming he's right, he said 10 million orders that are out in backlog. That's a lot. Suppose he's right. Suppose he had the right intel. How long would that take PSA to, you know, finish going through all those orders? Well, I looked at some of the information online. I'm relying on Retro Hoops Collectibles, and he saw that maybe 120 to 150,000 orders approximately per day. So if you look at that, I mean, excuse me, 120,000 to 150,000 a week. So if you look at that, that's maybe 600,000 a month. And if you want to look at the math, how long would that take? Well, it would take probably a year and a half, just just as a guess, to get through all of that back orders, all through all of those back orders. Eighteen months, and then they uh, Dan Turner recently said that you know if it's like a million back orders, you know if that's the backlog, then we could open everything back up. So if you look at that, what are you talking about? Maybe. 20 to 22 months so we're talking about what you're talking about over a year still you're talking about maybe summer of next year and i asked retro hoops collectibles when do you think uh they'll be ready and how much do you think in backlog he says well it's hard to determine that but he gave me a few scenarios and he did say on the video, if they have 10 million, it's going to be probably summer of next year. And there are a lot of people that are frustrated. And right around the time where PSA announced they won't be accepting any orders, the flippers lost big time. And you can see that in the pricing of the market. I talked about many variables affecting the price. And it does logically make sense that if the flippers cannot access PSA, the prices will be going down. And I'm looking back at what happened last year. I'm just going to call it the cornholio virus, as uh, Beavis and Butthead would say. And the politicians were saying, hey, you know what, it's just going to be two weeks off. And they said, oh, no, it's going to be maybe a month off, but two months off. Oh no, it's six months off. And we didn't even know what would happen here in Chicagoland. And then they said, oh, you know what? Uh, we're going to have to shut everything back off in the fall and early winter. And then they said, oh, you got to take the jab for everything to get back to normal. While then they're saying, oh, look, there's a mutation. We got to look out for that now. Oh, you got to look for a booster, right? So you're seeing, you know, in the political landscape, they're moving the goalpost. And with PSA, it appears uh, that Nat Turner and his buddies seem like they're pushing the goalpost. 
Now, it is good to see him take these interviews. I did notice, uh, though, one individual, I think it was Retro Hoop Collectibles, he's saying like uh, his body language wasn't that good. It's like he didn't want to be in those interviews. Maybe because he didn't know all the answers. And it's hard to know all the answers when it comes to when are you going to open back up. So when I see uh, what happened with the Cornholio virus and I see PSA and still not being totally upfront with the total amount of backlogs that they have. And the fact is we don't know when their whole operation is going to open back up. I mean, it feels like last year again when it comes to what they're saying about this virus. What's going to happen with PSA? When is everything going to come out? This is also one of the reasons why I don't like aggressively betting on the sports card market right now. I mean, if I find something, like I said, very cheap, maybe 90% off, I may take a stab at it. 80% off, I may take a stab at it. But right now, I'm still on the sidelines. I may even go to the Nationals just to hang out. Maybe I won't buy anything. I, if I buy something, it's probably going to be less than $100. It's not going to be too much. I'm not aggressively uh, playing this game like I was last year and the year before. But I wanted to ask you guys this question. Is PSA losing credibility? Are you? Do you have less confidence in them? Are you sending your cards to SGC? And the thing is that PSA, yeah, you get the most resale value, but now why would I send their cards if they're allegedly grading the cards much worse than they were in the past? I showed you a video with some Russell Wilson cards that I got back, and they were terrible. You know, I got one nine, one eight, and then four of them didn't even pass the mustard test for what I was looking for. So those weren't graded at all. And I believe some of those cards that I got back were nines. Multiple cards. I had my wife look at that. And a lot of people are talking about, you know what, it seems that PSA is grading hard. Much harder than they were in the past. Maybe to maintain uh, some great pricing for older PSA cards. I'm not sure about that. Granted, I will tell you that I did get a decent grade for two cards. I did send them via Express before they shut everything down. It was a Simone Biles cards I've showed you. PSA 9 and the auto was 10. This was, I think, a 2016 card. And then also, I got a Khabib PSA 10 Blue Refractor. It was a 2013. So, yeah, I did get some good grades. But those I had to spend a little more money on. The economy ones that I spent $20 per card, they graded like crap. I'm not saying that they're grading all this economy cards much harsher. But a lot of people that have sent in cards, from what I've heard, they are complaining because they know the card game much better than I do and some of the people that are watching. And the group submitters and all these other guys that submit to them in bulk, if they're complaining, I would listen. And it appears, or I would not be surprised if PSA is sending a message to people, don't send in your cheap cards to us. Only send in our quality cards. Or only send in quality cards. I would not be surprised if behind the scenes they're doing that. Nat Turner has denied that, but at this point, I would not be surprised. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about PSA. Are they losing credi credibility, yes or no? Are you sending your cards to SGC? Are you sending your cards to HGA? I'm curious about that. Anyways, guys, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below, guys. Talk to you another time, guys. Bye.